freshly squeezed orange juice at the house. Um, her love of orchids, you know, all, all the flo uh, flowers. Her love of photography, so when you see me, you know, post all these things on Facebook, it's not my fault. Um, it's, you know, runs in the family. Um, time spent with her in, you know, St. Elizabeth Junction and um, Treasure Beach, especially. TV shows, when you go to her house, there was only two things you could basically watch. Game shows is one. So that's one. And then either the Knicks or the Mets are on TV, you could watch that too. So you have a choice. Um, Corn meal porridge for some reason comes to mind. So a lot of the times when my mom and my dad were abroad, we would stay with um, grandma at her house. So every morning it was corn meal porridge for, for breakfast. After the third morning, I said, you know, Grandma, I hate, hate corned porridge. <laughs> Can we have something else instead? Eggs, eggs and bread is what I want. So I woke up the next morning, you know, hoping, kind of had it, you know, like when you wake up to a smell that like was things cooking and thought it was eggs. So I ran over to the table and it was a big bowl of corned porridge. <laughs> so the funny thing is, I love corned porridge right now, so I don't know, I don't know what changed. Um, as was just mentioned, her love for the church. Um, when, we, when we were still living here, um, Grandma would wake us up to make sure that we were coming to church. So this one morning, I feel that I'm gonna tell her I'm, I'm sick. I can't, can't really make it, you know, this morning. Um, so I, I tell Grandma on the phone. Grandma says, "Is everybody up?" I say, "Yes, Grandma, everybody's up." Um, so I tell her. Um, Grandma, I'm not feeling, not feeling that well. You know, I'm going to skip church today. Grandma said, no way. <laughs> you'll, you'll feel better when you get to church. So, so a lot of good memories, you know, come, come rolling back. Um, her 70th birthday, um, the happiest times when all her, her grandchildren were here with her. Um, the cruise that we went on, Grandma's cruise for her for her birthday that year. Um, next year will actually make 20 years since that cruise. And I don't think there's a year that's passed by in the intervening time that we haven't discussed some story from last night. So, um, you know, Grandma set a, a standard for, for all of us. Um, you know, we came into the world not knowing what it was like not to have a strong, um, you know, personality to, to look up to. Um, you know, we're blessed to have all her, every single one of her grandchildren here, so that's a, that's a blessing. Um, and the legacy really of grandma is in um, her grandkids, because I, I see her in each and every one of them. Um, in different ways sometimes, and maybe in different doses, um, but I see it in each and every one of them. Um, Shauna and Damien, um, caretakers. So the first message we got when we heard was Sean, you know, making sure that everyone was okay. Had a long meeting last night to make sure that everything would run smoothly today. Um, you know, with all of the emotions. Um, truly, you know, the we I talked about strength before, so the epitome of strength in our um, generation. And I think I'm speaking for myself and the rest of us when I, I consider her um, an inspiration. Um, Dwayne and Stevens' um, sense of humor, her grandma had a great sense of humor. Um, Stevens' coordinates at times I can do without, but you can, you can see grandma in them for sure. Um, the younger sets, um, Jess and JD, Brad and Katrina, um, their stubbornness at times, um, or if you want to call it independence of spirit at times, um, you know, I can see clearly um, in, in all of them. And some of them, you know, weren't even alive when Uncle David passed, so we made sure to, um, the older ones made sure that we kept that um, memory alive um, so that they would know Uncle David in the same way that we did. Um, you know, we still, we still miss him today. So, um, rest in peace, Grandma, from all your, your grandkids. Amen.